Hey guys, I came across this uh, excerpt in the, out of the Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This is a really awesome book and I just came through this and I wanted to bring this six points here that he points out um, to create wealth. And I really wanted to um, uh, point out these six steps here. The sixth one is the most important and it and follows Neville's teaching. Um, the sixth step does, but it's another practical example by Napoleon Hill of how to create money into your life. And he's got a different plan than Neville Goddard, but I think it's... It's relevant, and I think that it may hit on some other points where um, some, I'm getting some questions and comments. The method by which desire for riches can be transmuted into its financial equivalent consists of six definite practical steps. First, fix in your mind the exact amount of money you desire. It is not sufficient merely to say, I want plenty of money. Be definite as to the amount. There is a psychological reason for definiteness. definiteness. Second, Determine exactly what you intend to give in return for the money you desire. There is no such reality as something for nothing. Third, establish a definite date when you intend to possess the money you desire. Fourth, create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once, whether you are ready or not, to put this plan into action. Fifth, write out a clear, concise statement of the amount of money you intend to acquire. Name the time limit for its acquisition. State what you intend to give in return for the money and describe clearly the plan through which you intend to accumulate it. Sixth, which is the most important here, guys, pay attention. Read your written statement aloud twice daily, once just before retiring at night and once after rising in the morning. This is my favorite part. As you read, see and feel and believe yourself already in possession of the money. It is important that you follow the instructions described in these six steps. It is especially important that you observe and follow the instructions in the sixth paragraph, which is right there, guys. As you read, see, and as you read, see and feel and believe yourself already in possession of the money. That's the most most important step, and he points that out in here, guys. You may complain that it is impossible for you to see yourself in possession of the money before you actually have it. Here is where a burning desire will come to, to your aid. And this will actually answer some other questions I was getting about the difference between um, wanting something and, de and attachment as opposed to the burning desire. Um, here is where a burning desire will come to your aid. If you truly desire money so keenly that your desire is an obsession, you will have no difficulty in convincing yourself that you will acquire it. The object is to want money and to become determined to have it, to have it that you convince yourself you will have it. So once you convince yourself that you have it or you live in the end, even though desiring the money doesn't actually have that attachment that you don't have it. So you're still, you're wanting money, but without the attachment of not having it. So you can still have the desire and still chase after something. But as long as you're assuming that you already have it while you're doing it, you're convinced that you already have it. Only those who become money conscious ever accumulate great riches. Money consciousness means that the mind has become so thoroughly saturated with the desire for money that one can see oneself already in possession of it. All right, guys, I wanted to bring these six points to you and I wanted to do this pretty quick for you. But um, I think there's some other points in here that kind of go against Neville Goddard's um, points about creating and carrying out the desire and um, the plan of action. Um, Neville Goddard teaches the opposite. He teaches that to go into the wish-fulfilled state and then let it come to you. But I think some other people may have some other interests in this. And I really appreciate you guys and uh, stay tuned.